Friends, today is uh, Tuesday, May 25, 2021, and we had a bit of a cold water shock, a realism uh, verse yesterday. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13 that we see through a mirror dimly. Earlier on, he has said that our knowledge is par partial, that is incomplete, and our prophecy is incomplete. And those are interesting admissions, aren't they, from, from a great theologian like Paul. They reflect the fact that our, our, our human vision, our angle on things is limited, that we're creatures of space and time and history. We're shaped by language and by tradition, and that equips us, but it also limits some of the things that we're able to see. But don't be discouraged, because Paul's realism has a wonderful compliment, and that is that our understanding is also uh, enriched by the communities that we choose to be a part of. Now, in, when we say the Apostles' Creed, we talk about the community of saints. Have you ever thought about your membership, if you're a believer, in this thing, this grouping called the community of saints? The community of saints is a, is a group that stretches across space and time and culture because it includes all those who have believed and confessed and served and loved and prayed uh, and succeeded and failed in the world and been embraced by God's goodness and grace. And so it's a huge, amazing community, and you're a part of it. But it means that you also have access to the insights and perspectives of people from that community. That includes all the brothers and sisters in the past that go back to the first disciples. We have access to a lot of their perspectives and their lives, uh, their adventures in the scriptures of the New Testament. And... We also have access through church history to the stories of people in many places who serve God. We can see the mistakes that they made. We can see the triumphs they had. We can see the questions that they asked. This is very, very rich uh, soil for our the seeds of our faith to be planted in. Uh, this stretches. So, in effect, we're able to look at the Christian faith and the world through the cultural lens of people from other situations and other times and that stretches our vision we get to see things differently um, we can also learn through present communities that we're involved in church communities mission communities one of the exciting things in my lifetime has been the way churches have begun to cooperate with each other and i hope you have friends beyond our church if you're a member of our church beyond our church and you have friends from other churches and you get to look at the world from their perspective this, again, stretches our vision. It starts to overcome our astigmatisms, our blind spots, and we see things more completely. Uh, same thing generationally. Since generations are subject to different forces, different trends, different challenges, uh, since as we age, our perspectives uh, on life shift, by bringing people together intergenerationally, we're also stretching the bounds of our community and we're gathering insight from others um, we can clarify our perspective let's take a moment to pray and thank god for this amazing community the community of saints that he's brought us together with heavenly father paul used this term saints to describe the members of his early churches and sometimes that seems a little off-putting for us we don't think of ourselves as saints in that sense but saints are the holy ones who've been set apart by god for great purposes and who've recognized the importance of his goodness and grace and prioritized a relationship with him through his son. And we're part of that community. And we thank you that that community stretches back in time for thousands of years, that it stretches us culturally, and it, it stretches our minds and our hearts as we see the way people have served you. We also uh, look at the mistakes the church has made throughout history and the way we continue to fall short, and we are stretched through the mistakes, seeing the mistakes and the errors that are made. We thank you for the communities we're in now, in the present tense. Deepen our bonds of fellowship and friendship. Helps to learn from each other uh, within our churches and denominations and outside of our churches and denominations with our mission partners and with our other friends uh, who follow you in this country and in other parts of the world. Through all this, enrich and, and clarify our vision, Lord. We ask it through your wonderful Son, through whom we pray. Amen.